So the question is often asked, what is a VPI process in a three-phase motor? It starts right here with a VPI process tank. This pressure vessel here, you will take the stator, place it inside. This is a clamshell, so that top will open up like a clamshell. Stator is placed down inside of it. Clamshell closed down. This large ring right here turns and seals it off. Once it's sealed off, a vacuum is pulled on it for about an hour to get all the moisture out of it. The vacuum is then turned off. There's a reservoir full of varnish that will come in on the bottom and fill up in the pressure tank. It will cover the windings. At that point, we will add pressure to it around 90 to 100 PSI for several hours. In a VPI winding, the VPI coil is actually a coil that is uh, not impregnated with any varnish. The varnish is actually being done, completed through the VPI process. The only insulation properties of this coil will be the mica and the uh, binder or glass tape. This one, as you can see, has a corona tape on it. This also has sleeving on it that can be impregnated with the varnish and once it's baked out, it will become uh, rigid and hard. After the VPI process is completed in the tank, the stator is removed, put inside the oven at about 280 degrees for several hours until the varnish is completely cured. Once it's cured, it becomes hard as a rock. As you can see here, this is a completed coil, set of coils already rewound, fresh, ready to prep and ready to assemble.